I've been waiting to do this for a while now. Welcome to Gear Force Explained. Gear Force made its debut in One Piece Manga Chapter 784, corresponding with One Piece Anime Episode 726. The Japanese pronunciation is Gia Foshu. The technique was first used in Luffy's fight against Don Quixote Do Flamingo and was developed during his training period on the island of Ruskana while training with Silver Drayley of the Roger Pirates. Similarly to a Gear Third technique, Luffy blows into his arm to activate this technique. However, this time, instead of blowing into his rubber bone, he blows into his rubber muscle. He distributes the air throughout his muscle structure throughout his entire body with emphasis on his upper half. Unlike the rest of the gears, Gear Force appears to have various forms, though we're not sure on this as of yet. But the first variation that Luffy had used so far is known as Bound Man, but in most subtitles and the Viz manga, it is referred to as Bounced Man. Luffy proportions become warped and his body becomes much larger in size. His arms, torso, and legs are then coated in armament hockey, which in the anime is actually given a red tint for unknown reasons. It actually differs from the manga, as in the manga, the color scheme of Gear Force shows the armament hockey being the same color as normal. So I'm not quite sure why they gave it a red tint when Oda had clearly stated in the manga that it is just the normal black. In this form, Luffy grows taller, standing around 4 meters tall. And, just like when he uses gear second, steam will emit from his body. Another difference between this form in the manga and in the anime is that on Volume 79's cover, Luffy's skin is shown to take a pinkish tone, similar to gear second in the anime when in gear four. However, in the anime, Luffy's skin is unchanged. The creation of Gear Force was done so Luffy could combat the incredibly strong animals on the island of Ruskana. Gear Force increases his speed and physical strength to the point where he is able to overwhelm the Chichibukai member, Don Quixote Do Flamingo, whereas in Gear 2nd, he lacked the physical strength, and in Gear 3rd, he lacked the speed, making it almost the perfect combination of the two forms. In this form, Luffy is also able to change the direction of his attack mid-strike by bouncing off of the air to hit in a moving opponent without losing momentum. According to Don Quixote Do Flamingo, Luffy's attacks are much stronger while in this form. Much like Gear 2nd, this form utilizes the Rokushiki techniques. In this form, Luffy is capable of using Soru and Geppo. However, there is a downside to this form. There is a limit to how long Luffy can keep a Bound Man or Bounce Man activated and, as noted by Luffy and Doflamingo, once this limit is reached, he will lose Gear Force and lose the ability to use hockey and be almost completely incapacitated for an entire 10 minute recovery time before he is able to use hockey and fight once more. The form, even without this, is extremely taxing on Luffy's body and uses up a tremendous amount of stamina. Because of this, the form is a last resort only being used against foes like Don Quixote Do Flamingo and Squeak Commander Cracker. In this form, Luffy's resistance to cutting attacks is increased tremendously. However, if the opponent had greater armament hockey, they will be able to cut through his coated arms with relative ease. There is another variation to this form, though it has only been used once and very briefly, so I'm going to be sure. Tank Man was revealed with, during Luffy's battle with Scarlet Cracker. Gear Force causes Luffy's metabolism to increase, which allows him to leave his Tank Man form in such a short time after using it. This is the case when Luffy was able to burn off the massive amount of biscuits he had eaten in his fight with Cracker shortly after he defeated the commander. Currently, the base form of Tank Man is unknown. Since the only time Luffy has ever used it was when he was completely full from eating all of Cracker's biscuits. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, 
subscribe for more videos, and tell me where, what did you expect to see from Gear Force in the future. I do plan on doing some sort of Gear Force discussion and theory kind of videos in the future, but I just want to know what did you guys expect to see from it. So leave your Gear Force theories in the comment section down below. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe, and above all else guys, have a great day. Follow me on Facebook and check out, follow me on Twitter and check out my Facebook.